What up everybody, it's your girl Ange, and today I am going to tackle some of these Christmas decorations and put things away. And you know, I promise to bring you along on this journey as we are downsizing our entire life in preparation for our move abroad. Now, remember, my house is a mess, okay? And I don't want no judgment from you, okay? You're coming along for this journey because I want to give you a, a real sense of the real and the raw as you are trying to uh, make a serious life change, all right? So let's get to it and we're going to get into it, y'all. I mean, it's just no thing but to do it and just get it started. Okay, so I've been diligently going through our house and downsizing. Um, as you guys saw in another video, getting rid of clothing, I put this big, um, you know, this big thing <laughs> here in the, in the hallway of clothes that we're about to sell to include a whole bunch of bridal gowns or, you know, wedding, my wedding dress, some bridesmaid gowns and all that kind of stuff from weddings past shoes, all that kind of stuff. We're getting rid of all of that. And um, I'm doing pretty good. But I wanted to kind of take a moment to talk about those of us who um, were downsizing, but you're not necessarily getting rid of everything. And I kind of wanted to speak to that space because there's a lot of people who are planning a move abroad and they are absolutely getting rid of everything they own and only downsizing to perhaps two suitcases each. More power to you. <laughs> and I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. As a matter of fact, if we were in a different place in our lives and a different um in a different stage of our development and life and goals and things like that, I probably would do the same thing. Chuck it all, chuck it all and say deuces, right? But listen, I'm 50, I'm 50 plus, let's just say that. We all need to be exact with the age. Um, <laughs> my husband is gonna be 60 this year. We're approaching retirement. This move for us, is not one that we're planning to be, you know, digital nomads and roam and explore the world and all that kind of stuff. More than likely, what we'll be doing is setting up another home base and exploring the world from there. And the home base that we set up there is pretty much where we're going to retire and we're planning to settle in there and just nestle and make a nest there in our new location. So, yeah, that's what we're planning to do. So I just wanted to say that because getting rid of everything ain't for everybody. And that is okay. Don't let these people on these streets tell you it's not because it is. It's your life, boo-boo. It's your life. And what makes you happy, the things that fill your spirit and make you happy, you ought to bring. And that's what we're going to do. Now, within reason. We are downsizing, make no mistake about it. And the majority of our belongings, I would probably say, honestly, it would be 80% of our belongings are going to be disposed of. But deciding what fits in that uh, 20%, and I would even dare say of the 20%, half of that, the majority of that, really, the majority of the things that we're keeping have to do with my business and hobby equipment and things of that nature. You take away that and we really aren't bringing much at all, okay? So just wanted to have that heart to heart. So anyway, let's take a look at these Christmas decorations. We are big Christmas folk around here. I mean, I'm talking about usually I have like three or four Christmas trees going. <sighs> with the majority and the main one being this baby right there. <sighs> this is my nine, is it 10 feet? 
nine or 10 foot tree. Um, and a couple years ago, I found this really neat contain this holder for it or what have you. So that all I have to do is just unzip it and we put the Christmas tree in it and zip it up and drag it up into the attic. And that's where it sits until ready for next year. Looking like a dead body in there, y'all, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's my Christmas tree, man. Oh, oh. But you got to go. I'm giving away my Christmas tree. But what is coming, she is. That's the little angel. Now, this angel kind of has sentimental value to us. It's the angel that's always been on every tree of ours. And... It just has sentimental value. And while I could have another, I'll have another tree. <sighs> that angel kind of means something to us. So she comes. Now, some of these decorations though. Y'all, mind you, remember I said that we usually keep about three or four trees every Christmas. So... I've got bulbs galore. These are my new set of bulbs that my husband bought me last year. It's so pretty. The little pastel -y colors and then those. Oh, many a beautiful tree have been decorated with these, y'all. These were made the Christmas last year so lit. And then on top of that, he um, wants to keep the elf on the shelf boxes. Now, mind you, why do we have two? I know, extra, right? One was for my son, the other was for my daughter because when they were little, my husband used to love to put the Elf on the Shelf stuff around the house for the kids. It became a thing. And the kids really, that's a part of their Christmas. And they, uh, to this day, don't tell them I said this, 15 and 16 year old don't tell them I said this but they still want us to put out the elf on the shelf I know I know y'all I know what's up with that right but that's a memory that's a actually the little elf on the shelf boxes we're planning to um the elf on the shelf we're planning to give to each of the kids when they go off to start their own lives so that'll be your elf on the shelves so you can have your own traditions and your own Christmas memories. But yeah, some of those bulbs. Ah, these bulbs. Here's another set of bulbs. Now these are all of the humongous, you know, bulbs that you see like on a, that work really nice on that big gigantic tree that you see on like a Christmas decoration at uh at a department store or something like that. Beautiful bulbs. And then we have some of these. This All this is just gold bulbs that we've had over the years. Oh, I got to get rid of my gold bulbs. Man. Oh, some stuff is, is easier to get rid of. Here goes one tree that we had. That's already ready to go. And then there was like a, this little marching band thing that my husband had as a child that his parents gave him. That's of sentimental value, but that's going. We're getting rid of that. And, uh, but then there's some other things that are so sentimental that they come in with. I've already mentioned the angel, but <laughs> this little guy right here, this little Santa, this little stuffed plush little Santa toy. My husband loves this. I don't know why, but he does. And Christmas just isn't Christmas without that guy. So we're bringing these two things. We're bringing, of course, our stockings that we had uh, embroidered with our names on them or what have you. We hang these above our fireplace every year. And then we also have a fireplace mantle holder. We're bringing those. And then trying to decide here what goes and what stays. 
This is um, a wreath that I made, oh, I think, the Christmas before last. My husband won't let me get rid of it for some reason. All of these things, these are candle holders and, you know, little, like a little wreath candle holder we set on tables and things like that. Things that I made in my craft room. Whole bunch of this. This whole thing is nothing but um, decoration things that decorate and adorn our house. But he's not letting me get rid of because it means something to him. As well as this little ho 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 floor mat. Now, the floor mat. Uh, yeah, I have to say, the floor mat has to stay. It has to come with us. It is coming with us. Now, it has a sentimental meaning, and some of you are like, really? Yes. The My late mother-in-law used to you say, ho, 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 every Christmas, and that was her big thing. She had a ho, ho, ho apron, a ho, ho, ho... Um, oven mitts when she would bake her cookies. She had a uh, ho, ho, ho uh, paper, gift wrapping paper. Everything was ho, ho, ho to her. So when we found that ho, ho, ho floor mat to put in her kitchen, that just absolutely made her day. And so now that she's passed on and it's come back to us, it when we look at it, it reminds us of mother. And so this little container full of little things like that is coming with. This is a tree skirt that actually goes with my, um, that I found that actually matches my angel. I thought that was really cute. It matched the angel. And so I did a whole tree that matches, it was matching whole tree. And then of course I had another, uh, floor skirt, tree skirt that I love. And this gold skirt that I also love. And we're putting all of this inside that little container to, um, <laughs> just bring all that with us. That's it. That's Christmas. Wow. Now, my flowers, oh well. I found some really pretty flowers that adorned a tree. Um, some silver silk flowers that adorned a tree. I get it. I can always get some more. I won't cry about those. Nor will I cry about all of the garland and lights and all of that kind of thing that we are putting in boxes and putting in bags. And those are the things that we'll be giving away for Christmas. Yeah. So it's actually going down. It's actually going down. At the end of the day, we'll probably only wind up with, like I said, this little round um, reef case holder and maybe a box or two. And I'm trying to really get it down to just maybe having the totes that, um, the two totes that we have that have, that are Christmas colored and that's it. And we're bringing it with, you're coming with, because when we begin our life again in our new location, what we want to have are those things, those creature comforts, those um, little aspects of life that really make life, um, uh, make a home a home. And at the end of the day, that's really what I want is a home. Now, if I was single, baby, <laughs> if I had no kids, honey, and even if I was at a different place earlier in my career or earlier in my life um, where I could start all over again, I would. I absolutely would. But right now, now ain't the time. 
<laughs> now for us is really the time that we are um, creating a new home base. It'll be starting over because a lot of the stuff is, is going, like I mentioned. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell that leather sectional, somebody about to be blessed, about to be blessed. Artwork, all of that other kind of thing, even our dog's toys over there in the corner. Somebody about to be blessed. You heard, you heard me, you heard me. Somebody's about to be blessed in a major way. But uh, if I really think of it, the people that's about to be blessed is is going to be us because this is going to be a blessing um, for us in terms of our start over. Okay, so I'm just checking in, y'all. Y'all see the devastation amongst the nation that's going on in this house. <laughs> and it's a hot mess. Um, so I'll be checking in again about uh, our progress. Today is uh, a new day. It's 2022, and we are about to get it started. So make sure if you haven't already, click on the link below so you can follow along. Listen, in probably five months, we're going to be out of here. Five months, this summer, coming this summer, we're going to be out of here. So that means this move is about to accelerate and you don't want to miss a bit of it. So check to you later. Talk to you later. Peace and blessings and all of that. Bye.